Hey guys and girls on Ash Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. Greetings from sunny, sunny, hot, hot, hot Tokyo. And today we're going to talk about 50 things you can only do in Japan. Let's go. Number one, and that was actually a culture shock for me when I went as an exchange student to a high school here. It's okay to sniffle in public, meaning students will for the whole entire time of a class sniffle up their snotty noses without actually blowing their noses. In some situations, it's actually more impolite to blow your nose instead of sniffle, so people sniffle instead. You'll see it in the trains. Have fun. Number two, you can sleep in a bus. Actually, sometimes if you go for a longer bus ride, there are even certain buses that have like little, little covers that will cover your face so you can sleep without other people looking at you. And also the bus driver will afterwards go around at the last stop and go, He'll go around and wake up the people who are sleeping. Same thing, you can also sleep on the train. Actually, in the morning, some people will get up extra early so they can get the extra early train. So they might be able to get a seat and then sit down in the seat and sleep for the whole journey. Especially when you live further out of Tokyo. And at the end, if you, for example, do that in the evening and people fall asleep and go past their stop, the driver will also go around and go, Shuten desu, okite kudasai, and try and wake the sleeping people up. Some people also sleep at parks, which would probably be super dangerous in your country. If so, let us know in the comments below. But some people actually during their lunch break have a nap in the park in the sun. If you go to a high school in Japan, you'll be surprised to see students sleep at their desk and the teachers not waking them because it might be a sign that they've been going to a cram school in the late hours of the night and studying till morning and therefore they're too tired in class to pay attention because they're studying for their university exams. Some people also sleep at work. They just put their head down on their desk and sleep a little bit. And if you go to a restaurant in Japan, it's actually totally okay to slurp ramen, skimmen, any kind of noodle, soba, udon, slurp it. It's okay here in Japan. Even pasta. Itadakida. In most Western countries, it's kind of a taboo to take the dishes and put them to your mouth. However, in Japan, it's totally okay. You can pick up the bowl of rice. You can pick up your miso soup. It's totally fine. Itadakida. We Germans are hated for leaving our towels on the best beach chairs in the morning. In Japan, however, it's totally okay to put down a handkerchief on any kind of seat in a restaurant or a food court to preserve your place. Itadakida. Sometimes some people will put down their back to reserve their seat at the food court. And some brave people even put down their mobile phone on the table to reserve their seat in a food court or restaurant. And most of the time it's still there when they come back. And some really brave older people from the older generation sometimes even put down their wallet to reserve their table because they're still used to the old traditional standouts and values. Now, I wouldn't recommend that nowadays though because you never know who's around. So, but yeah, it, some people do. It's generally safe to pull out your wallet and check how much money you have in it on any street. Even near Shibuya Crossing where so many people accumulate, it's still fine to pull out your wallet and check your finances. Maybe not in the middle of the night, but generally yes. With the air conditioning running and maybe even a little TV screen inside of the car, many parents actually leave their kids inside the car when they go to the supermarket. 
with the air conditioning running, some parents even decide to leave the kids in the car when they go to the convenience store. Elementary school kids can also be left at home alone. In Japan, if you wanted to, you could drink a bottle of wine on the street. No problem at all. In Japan, you could also drink that bottle of wine in the car. However, only as the passenger, not as the driver. Raise your hand when you want to cross the street. Fake smile when you're talking to your boss or a really annoying customer. It's okay to cross your arms when you're talking to your boss. Hmm. At restaurants, you don't have to leave a tip on the table. But if you use the restaurant napkin and fold it into a little docky and leave that on the table, the staff will be happy. Before an important school test, it's okay to cheer up your friends by saying, My dog! Before your friend is going on her first date, you can cheer up your friend by saying, Taito! And after your friend got dumped, you can cheer her up by saying, Taito! If your favorite senpai has to go far away and you want to cheer them up, you can say, Taito! Okay, it's okay to come to work when you have a fever and work when you have a fever because it shows good working spirit. Not really recommendable in 2020 and 2021 though. And when your kids have a fever and you still have to go to work, it's apparently okay to leave them at home too. In many Japanese companies, it's still totally normal to send a fax. And to get a fax. Daily. If you have a rather large wallet and you put it in your back pocket and 70% of your wallet still peeps out, it's apparently okay. It's totally normal for a single person to have more than five umbrellas at their home. I have even more. <laughs> you can buy and drink sweat on the street. In Japan, when you want to open the door of a taxi, you don't even have to touch it. You just use the force. In Japan, when you want to open the door of a taxi, you don't even have to touch the door and it will open to you. You can use the force. When reacting to people, it's totally okay to say, ah, so. In summer, it's okay to wear a black parasol with black arm covers with a black pair of sunglasses and maybe even a black mask or a black shield. No one thinks that's strange. You can really not see anything of the person. You can push the stop button on the roof of a Japanese bus. You can not only walk your dock, but you can also go and walk your cleaning brush on a little leash around the streets in Harajuku, we've seen it. You can sit on a heated toilet seat. You can sit on a singing toilet seat. You can sit on a light up toilet seat. 
You can buy a bear bell at a 100 yen store in Tokyo and never meet a bear in Tokyo. Not the tanuki figurine, but actually real raccoons from America are actually spreading around Japan right now. In Japan, it's not called peanuts, it's called Snoopy. You can run while eating a shokpan bread and feel like a heroine in an anime. Ah, chikoku, chikoku. You can find real traces of Hatsune Miku in real life. You enjoy different types of bread in Japan, but you know that the best type of bread is melon bread. You also know that there's no melon use in the making of melon pan. You can loudly call this stuff in restaurants and convenience stores. You can call restaurant staff to your table by pushing a button. Bing bong! And it never fails to surprise you that their balls are probably bigger than yours. And you can love Japan every day! And if you love Japan, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We bring you lots of fun stuff here from Tokyo. I hope you have a lovely day and catch you soon for more stuff on Ash Japanese. Don't forget to check out our socials for links to other cool videos and other cool stuff that we're doing. And I'll catch you soon on Ash Japanese.